That's Carrillo. It's one of the things I love about the NHRA. It's pretty rare in most other motorsports for somebody to come in on a one-off or a part-time basis and, like, you know, show everybody what's what. Now, SVG did it in Chicago on the street courses. Right. But it's pretty rare in other motorsports. But in drag racing, it doesn't matter how big your budget is or how many extra parts you got or how much stuff you got in the trailer. You come to starting line, everybody's just got one of everything. Okay, you got two magnetos, you got 16 parts, but we get the idea. For Mac Tools, Revkin, Coletta Air, Doug Coletta working with Alan Johnson, Brian Houston. They went in 88 earlier. Greg Carrillo went in 83 earlier. Antron Brown's the only one that's been in the 70s so far. Just thinking about the emotions that have to be flowing through Greg Carrillo right now, staring up at a packed grandstand at his home track, knowing he was number one coming into this session on a Friday night under the lights. Somebody who grew up wanting to drive a top fuel car, it's got to be the ultimate moment. We dive right in. Coletta. 379, 324 miles an hour. Carrillo shuts it off, but he'll stand on his run from earlier. Antron Brown, number one. Doug Coletta, second. Steve O, third. Leah Pruitt, sitting number four. Clay Milliken, five. Greg Carrillo, still six. Sean Langdon, Josh Hart, rounding out your quick eight. Antron at 3.78. Josh at 3.85. Hey, Bandemir, don't head out just yet. We've got Jets. Is Jet Car Joe really coming up? Jet Car Joe's already up here, and Hannah's down on the starting line. I am on the starting line with Brian Houston, who said he was happy with that run. That seems like a nice way to close out the night. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're just thrilled to be here. Um, you know, car's running better than it has in the last few years. So we're pretty happy about that. And, um, you know, we get another kick at it tomorrow night. But uh, we're, we're definitely happy with that and proud to be racing here with Vandermeer Speedway. And we are proud to have you. That is a nice run out there for the Mac Tools Toyota team. Take another look on the NHRA.TV replay. Fans, I'm telling you, we got, what do we got, four, five, 18 jet cars, and we got fireworks getting ready to come at you as well. And take a look at that last pair. Nice, solid run. Wow, look how hard Carrillo's car was pushing toward the center line. I did not see that the first time down. As a matter of fact, he got close enough. He didn't doink the block, but if you touch the line, the run was going to be disqualified anyway. But it was not his best run. Race fans, if you're headed out, drive careful on the way home. Follow the directions the law enforcement types, they'll get you where you need to go as quick as possible. But I wouldn't leave yet because we got jet cars. And the only thing that makes jet cars more exciting on a Friday night under the lights are fireworks and jet car Joe Costello.